Hello everyone, welcome back to ProjectContest.com YouTube channel. So myself Rajshekar from ProjectContest.com. So we are going to see about Startup India Seed Fund Scheme by Government of India. So we know that the startup culture has now been evolved in India for the past few years uh, from now and uh, many uh, students and budding uh, youngsters are uh, very interested in developing their own startup venture. So in this regards, now government of India to various initiatives are reaching to the uh, ideators and innovators for starting their own venture. One of such initiative is this Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. To explain more about the Startup India Seed Fund Scheme, we have an expert in the name of Mr. Gautam Palaniswamy. CEO of Business Incubation Center, Periyar University. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, this is Gautam Palaniswami, CEO of uh, Periyar University Business Incubation Confederation. The government of India, with a view of creating a sustainable entrepreneurial ecosystem in our country, uh, they have initiated Startup India campaign in the year 2016. In that uh, Startup India campaign, one of the prominent as well as most important uh, part of the system is the Startup India's Seed Fund Scheme. So the Seed Fund Scheme uh, opens on July 1st for uh, startups. So before explaining more about the scheme, what is the Seed Fund? How the Seed Fund helps entrepreneurs to grow uh, themselves as well as uh, their team, their entity? Yes, seed fund is a kind of early boost. It is the first uh, fundraising thing for an early stage startup. Uh, we might have bootstrapped and created our startup, but to scale more, to enhance our services, to reach more customers, to be a pan-Indian firm from wherever we are in the country, to be a pan-Indian firm, to get that sort of reach, which uh, we are aiming. Seed fund plays a major role because we need funds. Uh, if we have funds at early stage, that will be a great boost up, not only for ourselves, also for the team. So this seed fund can be used for you know various aspects. Uh, seed fund is used to build the infrastructural facilities which is required for your startup. You can also hire people. The working capital is also provided in the seed fund. So that's how it goes. Instead of raising funds at an early stage from the ventures or angels, which is definitely a difficult task for an early stage startup through this sort of pitch, you can raise funds through uh, this sort of seed fund schemes. One such prominent scheme is Startup India's uh, Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. Yes, sir. So, uh, Great. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you for that nice uh, insight, sir. Uh, one more question you have, sir. Uh, I have yeah. to you ask from the, our uh, viewers is that uh, there are two types of uh, categories I have given, sir. One for the startups and one for the incubators, sir. So, what is the difference between uh, direct startup applicants and for the incubator applicants? So, from your perspective. Yes, uh, the two categories are well defined uh, from the government with a view of supporting all early stage uh, ideators, innovators, as well as startups. So in the incubator category, if the people only have a proof of concept and they have not yet, you know, uh, established into a, a greater firm, they don't have any traction to prove, they don't have any early stage uh, customers or consumers to use their product or service, they can approach an incubator, they can associate with an incubator, the incubators will be applying for this uh, Startup India Seed Fund scheme. So if they are associated with an incubator, definitely they can, you know, get funds uh, under the scheme through an incubator. They have a support system. They have a body to take care uh, of their uh, next steps. So this is uh, with the view of incubator. So if they are at a proof of concept stage or if they are at a prototyping stage, yet they have registered as company, uh, still they are at uh, proof of concept or prototyping stage, they can access this uh, fund scheme through an incubator. So that is first category where the incubators will apply. They will uh, nominate some startups. So, uh, so this is the first criteria. The second criteria is directly for startups. They have established an entity. They have hired people. As I said, they would be uh, seeking some support for their scaling up stage, infrastructural uh, you know, establishments, or uh, to uh, enhance their uh, services, 
or uh, to you know grow their team in numbers so startups especially who have been recognized by dpiit which we will uh, normally say as dpiit recognized startups and registered firms especially uh, llps private limited firms they can apply under startup category so this uh, these two are the prominent categories thank you sir and uh, how to utilize the fund sir that i think 20 lakhs is given maximum fund for the startups how to yes. utilize these funds yes uh, what i would suggest in the incubator point of view is uh, you have an internal committee to take care of fund disbursement uh, while planning itself the planning should be crystal clear because uh, the applications will be you know scrutinized and uh, it will be validated by the top most expert committee of the country so before applying itself have an internal scrutinization discuss with your mentors discuss with your network partners and be as much diverse as you can uh, have a vision for the next 5 years while applying uh, for the seed fund itself uh, mention your requirement for the next 5 years that will do good after receiving the funds then you can utilize uh, as per your strategy which you have implemented during application this is one simple thing to get funds thank you sir thank you for uh, coming out in your busy time and uh, sharing your views on this uh, startup india uh, scheme sir anything you want to add finally sir one thing i should be very clear sir uh, if people uh, get this fund or do not get this fund that doesn't matter because there is a myth in entrepreneurship only with money we can proceed ahead with our business that is definitely a myth these seed funds are only boosters so just apply if you get it's a booster or else look for other options to uh, scale up your fund uh, just please don't drop your startup or idea so this is from my side thank you so much uh, for the team project contest for your initiatives thank you guys and all the best for all applicants for your success thank you thank you sir for joining uh, with us thank you so what are other insights and what are the other important details i'm going to explain through screen casting mode so i have uh, showcased the projectcontest.com website where we mentioned the blog post about seed fund uh, grant scheme so this uh, startup india scheme was aims to provide financial support to the startups who are the development of proof of concept prototype development product trials market entry and commercialization so proof of concept we know that the initial stage of any innovative idea or any startup we have to have you, our own proof of concept so that only you will be getting the further investment by the investors or you can get the further support from the banks or other uh, funding agencies so for that you will you may lack of fund so the help from uh, this kind of a scheme will be very useful for you so moving on to the next who can apply for this uh, grant is that a early stage startup who are lesser than 2 years and recognized by dp iit of uh, government of india can apply for this uh, startup scheme so this uh, startup scheme must have a business idea to develop a product or a service with the market fit so you have you should compulsorily have a product or service not other kind of uh, startups can apply for that so you, you should have that that point startup should be using technology in its core part or service or business model or distribution model and scope of scaling so these are some of the constraints and the main focused area for this year seed fund scheme is that social impact waste management water management financial inclusion education agriculture food processing biotechnology healthcare energy mobility defense space railways oil and gas textiles etc so this grant will not be exceeding about around the money of 10 lakh as a given support and it will be given uh, in a separate separate time you will not receive the entire amount on starting itself and uh, some of the things you can utilize the money uh, apart from uh, the schemes have been given as a mandatory by the fund provider and uh, for applying for this grant you should not earlier got fund in any of the incubators and supporters and which also includes competition and grant challenges by the incubators or government of india subsidized working space you should not get before that founder monthly allowances you should not get from the various schemes access to the labs various labs you should not have already got or access to prototyping facilities by government of india you should not got so you should be a 
new venture or new startup uh, aspirants less than 2 years who doesn't uh, got any kind of support from uh, various schemes by government of india or from the incubators you can apply for this challenge it's a very important notable point they have given in this year startup grants you have to note everything by date so other important eligibility includes that a shareholding of indian promoters in the startup should be at least 51% at the time of application to incubator for this scheme as per company act 2013 so you have you should be an indian startup that's the main uh, thing what they have mentioned in this point it should be noted that so any other points you can refer the entire document uh, in that and uh, the incubators can also apply directly for this scheme has been uh, given so what are the details they, they have to follow so they have to be legally registered incubator and uh, the incubator should be operational for a minimum 2 years for this incubator scheme for minimum 2 years they should be function more than 2 years only they will apply the new incubators cannot apply for this application and incubators must have facility to seat at least 25 individuals in their uh, forum incubators must have at least 5 startups are undergoing in their incubators so that only they can apply for this scheme incubator should not be disbursing seed fund to incubate using funding from any third party private entity so this has to be taken care by the incubator so main point they have given is that uh, you should be minimum of 2 uh, years uh, older incubator and 25 individuals uh, minimum working space you should have and minimum of 5 staff startups running in your incubator is mandatory for applying for this scheme so these are some of the points and additional points you can uh, refer uh, our website or uh, direct uh, seed fund grant website so as i said earlier uh, a validation uh, amount of 10 to 20 lakhs will be given maximum of 20 lakhs will be given for developing your proof of concept or prototype development for the individuals uh, startups and uh, for the incubators uh, 50 lakhs investment will be given for the incubators and uh, these are some of the things they have mentioned in the seed grant seed fund scheme scheme this one this is about the startup india seed fund uh, scheme to know more and uh, to have any doubts you can post in the comment section share this video to the uh, early stage startups and budding innovators who may be using this uh, kind of a scheme to develop their career and uh, to accomplish their dream thank you for watching this video